myself, I came from both industrial and uh, academia. I worked with Morgan Stanley as a financial advisor, the World Bank as a consultant, the head of economic department at uh, Qatar Petroleum, and, uh, and etc., etc. So I came from both worlds. So I understand the problems in the actual business world and in the academic world. You see, uh, before I just uh, talk about the presentation, I would like to commend Amit on his initiative. It's really, I, I am really passionate uh, about it very much because of real examples from the business. I give you a story. Dubai is known for a dynamic uh, real estate uh, market. Uh, it has now the tallest building in the world. But all the real estate reports are written by, uh, by foreign institutions. Not even one real estate report is written by uh, a Dubai institution. Neither academic nor business. Uh, for example, the longest and detailed um, report about real estate in Dubai is written by John LaSalle. And John LaSalle sent two employees to Dubai. They do some surveys. And I found so many mistakes and so many wrong predictions in that report because they don't live in, in the real environment, in the business environment. I teach in the Real Estate Business Institute, Real Estate Institute, Dubai Bus Real Estate Institute. And uh, I found, I mean, no domestic resources in the universities. This tells you something about the gap between universities and the business environment in, in, in their country. So uh, the initiative of Amit is, uh, uh, actually is an excellent initiative and I would like and also it entails or involves collaboration collaboration between uh, Asian universities actually collaboration is the key to uh, progress and to achieve the goals of you know to have distinctive doing business curriculum if we don't collaborate we will not have it I think this is the key, uh, I mean, to reach the goal. Uh, you see, uh, <coughs> uh, Middle East uh, is not homogeneous region. Everybody thinks of lump, uh, Middle East in the same category. So there are so many stereotypes, generalizations, but Middle East is diverse countries with respect to history. There are countries who are just young, 30 years, 40 years old, and there are countries who contributed to main civilizations like Egypt, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, for example. So they are not the same. Uh, and there are differences in culture, norms, uh, socioeconomic development, uh, geography, climate, political structure, and educational system, uh, and also social hierarchy and interest group formation. So all these have relevance to business education, to management education. So, uh, I mean, that's why we, we have to take all these diverse factors or variables in consideration. Uh, examples, uh, I mean, that, that, that are particular to Middle East uh, with respect to management. Okay, there is a favorism uh, in the public, this is service delivery, in the public and private sectors at all levels. Customers level, employment and compensation packages. Management science, management education has to deal with these things, has to uh, address these things as well. Uh, so uh, we should emphasize the stakeholder model instead of the employee model in business. Uh, business managers must engage their employees. So all these 
can be learned from case studies within the environment, within the domestic environment, business environment. So, uh, in the project management, for example, there are projects who are status driven, you know, like the highest uh, tower in the world. And there are projects they are profit driven. So, so the management courses have to address these and find the uh, pros and cons of these type of things. So in human capital, for example, recruitment and hiring, uh, there, are, there are two models, model to hire versus model to train and build. So alignment of HR education with, uh, with this uh, human capital strategies is very important. So if we align the HR education to human capital strategies, then we, we can uh, you know, change the curriculum according to the needs. Uh, what is unique business opportunities in, in that part of the world? Of course, Islamic finance was the contribution. Uh, but uh, Islamic finance is still suffering from fragmentation. And a lot of work, for example, between Malaysia and uh, Dubai. Dubai, is, is they have a goal to be the hub of of the Islamic finance. But if there is collaboration between universities, they can improve. The, I mean, uh, I tell you why it's fragmented, because each bank has a committee, a Sharia compliance committee of its own. Uh, and uh, they give uh, fatwa different from each other's. So, for example, one of the clergy gave fatwa in Bahrain and said the structure of the prophet to the bonds, which called sukuk, is not right according to religion. At that point, uh, the market lost five million dollars because of one person decree or, or fatwa, religious fatwa. So, the, the, the whole uh, concept of Islamic finance has the collaboration among universities, for example, in Asia, especially Malaysia, Dubai, maybe Indonesia, can help improve because it's, it's not, not very uh, difficult. I refereed uh, conferences, I mean papers for Islamic finance conferences, and in certain times I rejected 10 out of 11 because there was no rigor in the research itself. So I think collaboration can improve managing the Islamic finance uh, cases. Uh, so, uh, of course, uh, for certain countries in the Middle East, they have also volatility and they are susceptible to business cycle. So oil price changes will affect, affect them a lot and uh, universities can include in their management courses also something how to deal with risk management, how to address risk management, either systematic risk or unsystematic risk. Uh, transparency and social accountability is an issue in, in companies. Companies follow Western type management, top-down management but they can learn from Japanese management, they can learn from India, they can learn of all the values in Asia. So I think uh, collaboration uh, is the key. So uh, by this I finish, but I, again, uh, I really, uh, I am passionate about this initiative and I think it, it is the way forward because if we collaborate, we will be able to establish a distinctive Asian management or doing business in Asia and we differentiate it, not just for uh, the reason of differentiation, but to meet the challenges in, in Asia and the business in Asia. Thank you.